Are you tired of constantly checking your inbox for any new invoices so you can manually manage them, add the data to Google Sheets or any other database, save the PDF invoices into your Google Drive, or maybe you are manually forwarding the emails to your accountant? Also, how do you manage the receipts that you are getting in shops when you buy something for your business? Do you take photos of them? Do you save the receipts in your wallet? I have a solution for you, a complete automation that will handle all your invoices and receipts. This automation works on make.com no-code platform. It consists of two workflows. One will handle all your incoming invoices in your Gmail account. The other one will handle your receipts. To handle your receipts, you only need to take a picture of it, send it to a Telegram bot. It, it will automatically trigger an automation that will handle your receipts for you. My name is Yanis and in today's video I will help you to handle all your invoices and receipts so you can easily do tax returns. If you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for the video and maybe leave a comment what I need to improve on this automation or if you have, have any questions just let me know. Let me just tell you a little bit about this automation. Basically it watches all your Gmail incoming emails and filters them if they are invoice related. If they are, the automation will automatically be started. We have two routes here. One is for emails with attachments. The other one is without attachments. Some companies send invoices with the data being in email body instead of attaching a separate PDF. So we handle that case. And if we have a PDF, we just parse the PDF so we can pass the data to ChatGPT who will analyze this data, check our database, which is Google Sheets, if we have an invoice with such number already in our database. If we do, then the scenario stops here. If we don't, we actually forward the original email to our accountant. If you don't use accountant, you can just remove this module. Then we upload the PDF that was attached to the original email to our Google Drive and at the end we add all the invoice data in our database which looks like this vendor invoice date invoice ID category is subscription or no amount currency and invoice URL this will be URL to your Google Drive so you can locate the invoice quickly straight from your database the bottom part is very similar to upper part except we don't analyze an attachment because we don't have one we analyze the body and the subject of the email then we check if such id exists in our database if it doesn't we forward the email to our accountant and we add the invoice data to our database and the second automation that i'm going to show you here is being triggered by an app called telegram Telegram is a messaging app similar to WhatsApp or Twilo. You can use any of these, but the Telegram is the easiest one to be set up. You just take a picture of a receipt on your smartphone. You send this image to the chatbot. It automatically triggers this scenario. Again, it analyzes the receipt, parses the result, forwards the receipt to your accountant if needed, uploads the receipt to your Google Drive, and also adds the receipt data to our database. Okay, so let's quickly run this automation. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm just going to choose where to start so we don't process too many emails. I'm going to choose from a specific date. Once I process uh, these from a specific date, let's say I need to do my tax return tomorrow. I want to get all my emails from 1st of, Janu uh, first, first of April then I would run it from 1st of April. And after that, I'm just going to leave this automation to on and it will automatically check every day if I have any new invoice related emails and add them to my database. So let's go to April 1st, click save. Let's run it once and it should pull up all the invoice related emails and pass them through these filters pass to ChatGPT to analyze them and um, we should have some results in our Google Sheets. Uh, I built a similar automation on NA10 
uh, it was more uh, easier to do it in make but if you wish to do it in na10 i have a video on my channel i will put it up somewhere here so you can easily access it while this runs i'm just gonna fast forward the video and we get back when it's done okay so the scenario finished running so you can see four invoices have passed the filter if i go to my bookkeeping assistant spreadsheet or database i can see four entries here with the vendor date uh, the invoice id the category is it a subscription amounts currency and also the invoice url I can quickly open the invoice here, see for what was the invoice. And then if I go to my Google Drive folder, the invoice is also here. And the receipt manager works similarly. Uh, I'm going to switch this on, save. Uh, basically, uh, as I mentioned, you can download the Telegram app on your phone. For the sake of this video, I have a Telegram app on my desktop so i'm going to show you here i've created a chatbot if i message this chatbot my a receipt i have a sample receipt here i'm going to send it to this chatbot and it's going to automatically trigger this scenario as you can see it's already running now it, the receipt is being uploaded to my google drive let's refresh here is the receipt and if I head to my bookkeeping sheet, I can see here it is added. It. And also it is forwarded to my accountant if needed. So yeah, these are the two automations. You need to manage your invoices receipts. So you have all your data in one place. If you like the video, make sure you press the like button. If you want to see more videos like these, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will have these automations in the video description completely for free for you to use so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye